Good morning. Let's work on the Sony ZV E10 a little bit. Going to Sony's help guide, let's actually, let's see. Uh, names of parts, identifying parts. So let's work on making sure we understand what everything is. So that, um, let me put on my glasses here. Sorry about the reflection in the glasses. I need to get um, probably a curtain to cover my window and a light from behind me so I don't get the reflection in my glasses. Um, this is the camera. That's a Sony ZV-E10. And uh, if you look at the front on the top in this picture, the number one is the shutter button. There's a little notch in front of that button up and right up here. That is um, for shooting it's the W slash T zoom lever. Literally, with the regular lens, it'll let you zoom in and out if you move that lever. Um, for viewing, uh, index lever, playback zoom lever. Not sure what they're saying that that is about. Maybe we'll figure it out later. Number three up there is, and that is, um, oh, there's, it looks like there's a light there. Oh, and it's called a self-timer lamp, recording lamp. So if you're recording, that light's going to be on. There's another guy who made a video on how to shut that off when you're recording so people don't know when you're recording. Uh, number four is down at the bottom of the camera, and that is the lens release button. It's right by the lens down, uh, down, down here. You can see the button down there. Uh, the lens obviously is this here. Um, that's number five. Number six is the mount. So if I take the lens off, there'll be um, a circle of metal there, which is called the mount. Uh, number seven, there's a square thing when you take the lens off. That's a sensor, the image sensor, which you do not touch. That's a key, key I mean, well, the ca everything's key on the camera, but the 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 Image sensor is extremely important. Do not touch it. And number eight is the lens contacts. Do not touch the se image sensor or the lens contacts. Now, if you turn the camera around and go to the back part, um, well, actually on the top, you have the on-off switch. If you look on the top, uh, let me see if I can get it in the image. Right there is the on-off switch. Number two, uh, there's an internal microphone. And that would be this on top, I believe. I need to put the fuzzy thing in there. That will make the sound better. But I still have to figure out how to transfer videos to my Linux operating system. I'm... I run Ubuntu on this computer. Uh, three is the multi-interface shoe. That's probably where you hook in the thing that covers the microphone. But they have a fancy name, multi-interface shoe. Um, let me see. There's a, a star and two stars. Um... So the star on the internal microphone is do not cover this part during movie recording. Doing so may cause noise or lower the volume. And then you have two stars next to the multi-interface shoe. 
Those two stars are for details on complete accessories for the multi-interface shoe and the USB Type-C terminal. Visit the Sony website or consult your Sony dealer or local authorized Sony service facility. Accessories for the accessory shoe can also be used. Operations with other manufacturers' accessories are not guaranteed by uh, Sony here. All right, the image sensor position mark is located at four. Uh, the image sensor position mark. Uh, I mean, there is a mark there. Not sure what that's supposed to do, um, to be honest. Okay. Um, Let's see, it says here the image sensor is the sensor that converts light into an electric signal. The position of the image sensor is indicated by the circle with the line through it. That's image sensor position mark. Okay. There is a mark on the camera with a circle with the line through it. When you measure the exact distance between the camera and the subject, Refer to the position of the horizontal line. Oh, measuring the distance to a subject. You measure, I don't know if you see it, there's a, a horizontal line right there. It's in white, that little white thing. So that's where you apparently measure the distance, the exact distance between the camera and the subject. If the subject is closer than the minimum shooting distance of the lens, the focus cannot be confirmed. Make sure you put enough distance between the subject and the camera. All right, the hooks for the shoulder strap. You attach both ends of the strap onto the camera. See, my, uh, my strap is already hooked here at the ends. Um, still movie S and Q button number six. Let's see. That would be, that would be this button. Let's see if you can see it. this button right here. It's got, it's got the three settings listed. You can see them in white next to the button right over the, right over here. Um, Let's see, so that was number, um, was that number 10? No, where were we? We did the shoulder strap, oh, the still movie S and Q button. Number seven is the movie button. That is located, uh, I think it's the one with the red on the camera here. I think that's the one they're referring to. Has a red circle in it. That's probably the movie button. Number eight is the C1 button. That's a custom button one. Um, although they have a person with um, trees called a background defocus button. That's number eight. Yeah, so it has a picture of a person with trees on the button. It's right at the end here. So right there is that button on the camera. Okay, that would be the C1 button. Number nine is the control dial. That's on the top here, on the top. It's black. It's a little hard to see. Um, it's, it's roundish here on the top of the camera. That's the control dial. 
uh, what is that control dial for? I don't know. Number 10 is the Wi-Fi Bluetooth antenna that's built in. So number 10 is uh, I don't see a Wi-Fi Bluetooth antenna where they say number 10 is. Um, number 11 is the microphone jack. When an external microphone is connected, the built-in microphone turns off automatically. When the external microphone is a plug-in power type, the power of the microphone is supported by the camera. Okay, number 11. So there's a thing. Um, it looks like it's on this side. And, oh, I don't know how to, oh, there's a little door here that opens. That would be, I don't know if you can see it here. Let me make this bigger for a minute. So you can see this microphone jack. It's right up here. Okay, that's the microphone jack. Found it. That was number 11. Number 12 is the USB Type-C terminal. So I got confused, Type-A, Type-C. It's Type-C. Um, that's in the side when you open, when you open the side, the, the Type-C is the top one up here. Can you see that? This one, it is that one up there. That's, that's the Type-C connector. That's what I use to hook it to the computer and to charge it. Um, let's see. 13 is the charge lamp. Uh, that's a, the little light that goes on when you're charging it, right under that Type-C. Number 14 is the HDMI micro jack. Not sure what we're using that for, but um, it is down there. And number 15 is the headphones jack. Um, not sure what we're going to use that for, but it's down there. Excuse me, I'm sorry. Uh, all right, accessory shoe. Um, they're looking now at the back of the camera, the multi-face in accessory uh, interface shoe the accessory shoe number one at the top of that is the menu button you could see that up at the top here number two for shooting the fn or function but button that's underneath the ex uh, menu button is the function button it has an fn on it for viewing, uh, it's a send to smartphone button. You can display the screen for send to smartphone by pressing this button. Number three is the control wheel, the circular thing there. Number four is the center button. That's the center of the control wheel. Number five, the delete button has a trash can on it there. Product showcase set button. That's next to the left of the trash can. Number seven is the access lamp. Uh, 
All right, it looks like there is something down at the bottom corner there, um, whatever the access lamp will tell you. Um, it'd be nice if these were linked in here to go to more information on what those things do. That's one way to improve this. Number eight is the monitor touch panel. Um, it, it does slide out and you can rotate it. You just be careful with it. It looks like it's delicate. Um, you can adjust the monitor to an easy, easily viewable angle and shoot from any position. Um, so pretty much it's so that you can look at the what the camera looks like from any position. The in-out swing is about 176 degrees. It rotates about 270 degrees. You may not be able to adjust the monitor angle depending on the type of a tripod you use. In such a case, release the tripod screw once to adjust the monitor angle. Do not apply excessive force when opening, closing, or ro rotating the monitor. Doing so may cause a malfunction. Now, on the bottom of the camera, the con there's the connection plate cover. Use this when using an AC PW20 AC adapter sold separately. Insert the connection plate into the battery compartment and then pass the cord through the connection plate cover as shown below. Okay, so that's where the cord goes in, I guess, to um, 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 I, I guess, does that chop? Make sure that the cord is not pinched when you close the cover. So apparently the cover can be cl closed with the cord. I don't know. <coughs> Sorry. Number two, tripod socket hole. Supports 1-4-20 UNC screws. That's one quarter dash 20. Use a tripod with a screw less than 5.5 millimeters or 732, 732 inches long. Otherwise, you cannot firmly secure the camera and damage to the camera may occur. Number three on the bottom is the speaker. Number four is the battery memory card cover. Number five is the memory card slot. I did a video showing installing those uh, a little while ago. Number six is the battery insertion slot in there. And number seven is the battery lock love lever. Now, using the windscreen, um, use the windscreen to reduce wind noise picked up by the internal microphone when recording a movie. Attach the windscreen to the multi-interface shoe. Uh, note, when attaching the windscreen, make sure that the windscreen does not get caught in the multi-interface shoe. When attaching a lens, make sure that the windscreen does not get caught in the lens mount. Okay, that is identifying parts. Next, uh, we'll probably go into basic operations uh, like using the control wheel. Thank you.